Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I'm your host Stacey Calloway and today I'm joined by two distinguished guests from Lake Point Community Church Veterans Ministry. One is Bob Tenbosch. Yes ma'am. You are the Veterans Ministry Director and Chaplain Rob Longo. Yes. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. For Thank thanks for you. having us. Absolutely. So talk to me about the Lake Point Community Church the Veterans Ministry. When did that all come about? It started uh, 15 years ago. Um, we we were hosting, uh, actually, a friend of mine, Dave uh, Trailer, and I were hosting uh, ushers, rather, of a concert. And he asked me if uh, I was a veteran. I said, yeah. And he said, I am too. And we both served in Vietnam. And we both said, you know, we should do something for our veterans. And that's really the inception of the ministry. Okay. Uh, at, at that time, it was just Dave and I, and then we brought on board uh, a young Army captain at that time, uh, and her name is Karen Finch Collier. Okay. Uh, she is now retired from the Army and is a major uh, and also part of our leadership team and eventually will become the new director of the ministry. So we're, we're looking forward to that transition. And but that, I, that's how it all started. And but it doesn't go unnoticed that you have the Navy cap and you have the Air Force. So how do the yes. two of you is it for all branches as yes. part of the Veterans Ministry? Yes, absolutely. Actually, it's, it's open for all. Uh, okay. The ministry serves our veterans mm -hmm. in support of our veterans and their family. Uh, we have something called a leadership team uh, that is uh, comprised of about 20, 25 people uh, from various churches, actually, uh, and also various uh, veteran organizations that, that will plan events for the Veterans Ministry during the course of the year. So you started off with two and now you have 25 yes. part of the leadership team. Yes. And then of course you brought in Chaplain Longo. I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rob came to our church, uh, oh my, about 15 years ago? Yeah, pretty much. And then I joined the ministry a few months after I was there. So I've been there for 14 years with the ministry. Yeah. And how does it feel being a part of this ministry? It's, it's a blessing because we're able to uh, serve our veterans in the community and uh, in other communities and, and the things that we do uh, to raise some money so to support this because we're self-sustaining. The church used to allocate money for us and we decided to, one time just to be self-supporting that we don't take any funds away from the church. So we have special events during the year that we raise money and help support our ministry. And you do have a, a big event that's, that's coming up in November. Talk to us about that. Yes, it is. Uh, this is our uh, third annual Veterans Recognition Dinner. Uh, it's free. Uh, every veteran is, uh, is, can bring a guest. Um, but the uh, important element is you have to register. Mm -hmm. And there's three ways of registering. Uh, you can use the QR code. Uh, that will be on a flyer that will be displayed shortly. Uh, you can contact the church, there's a number on the flyer as well, or you can contact me directly at bob at tenbosch.com, and that's T-E-N, like number 10, B as in boy, O-S-C-H, dot com. Uh, and I will make sure that you're registered, yeah, but you have to be on the roster uh, to get in. Okay, so the registration and welcome starts at 4, yes. and the dinner yes. starts at 5, so talk yes. to me about what is the dinner, like the food that's going to be there? The Should dinner is going to be, uh, one of our members is proud to use his mother's uh, meatloaf recipe, oh. which is uh, delicious. It's uh, moist and uh, it's, uh, it's quite yeah. unique. So that's the main course. It'll okay. be uh, meatloaf and then we have some vegetables and salad. And I know the meatloaf is, a, is a, a hit with Joe, so yeah. he'll Joe, probably be there for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he can't wait. We'll uh, save him a place at the dinner table. That's right. Yeah, save but there'll be dessert as well. And yeah. yeah. But okay. yeah, I just want to emphasize that uh, the doors open at 4. Okay. And uh, the registration welcoming is from 4 to 5, and then our opening ceremony will start right around 5 o'clock and d yeah. dinner afterward. Yep. Okay. And then you do have the guest speakers as well as um, the the um, honoring down, down River for Bet. Correct, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ann Rodisil will be uh, speaking a few words as to what her vision is, okay. what our vision is, I think. What our vision, and, and then also is. we want to make sure that people know that they can register. We're going to put that on the screen. Yes. The three, you have two different Q, QR three, codes. Three different ways. Oh, you have three different ways. Yeah. Three yeah. different ways of okay. registering, and we have one QR code for registration. Got it. Which would be the Lake Point 
uh, QR code. Okay, well, people need yeah. to definitely, if not for the fundraiser, for the dinner, make Absolutely. sure that they attend. Yes, we appreciate Looking it. Looking forward to seeing you vets out there. Yes. Okay. And your families. <laughs> and how many people do you anticipate registering for this event? We're expecting anywhere between two to three hundred. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be a nice crowd. In our first year, we had, what, 125, 130 yes. people. And yeah. second year, it was like 250. And yes. hopefully it'll be more than that this year. More than that. And yeah. how, do you, how do you sustain that? You did mention that you do different events so that you can raise money. But mm -hmm. the food and the guest speakers and the entertainment, does that the, come the at a cost? logistics. Right. <laughs> That's why we have a team, yeah. okay. and it's called a leadership team. Okay. Uh, it's quite extensive. It, it takes several months to plan for this, mm -hmm. uh, not only just for the food, uh, but the varying activities that are going on. Uh, for servers, for example, we have table servers, we have buffet servers, we have greeters, we have hospitality people, we have a registration team. We have a setup team, a cleanup team, we have a kitchen team. Wow, <laughs> so and that's part of the leadership. Yes, it because, is. Uh, you know, I, I know of people who are even family members who are part of the, um, you know, who are veterans now. Mm -hmm. And it's something about the discipline and the leadership to get things done. Yeah. Yeah. And it's important to have this, you know, the camaraderie that happens through all this. But not everyone is a veteran that is on this team. Right. There's a lot of people that aren't. Their uh, dads were, their brothers were, whatever that had served. And they have the heart to, to serve also. So they, they joined and teamed up with us. So. And one word that I remember you pointing out, um, you said the brotherhood or the sisterhood of, yeah. this, of yeah. all of this. But yeah. that's it. If Bob was in the Navy and I was in the Air Force and we could fight and argue all day long. But if you attack either one of us, we're together, right? right. And that's yeah. the way it is. It's the love and respect for our flag, for uh, our service, for our country. And yeah. that's what we signed up for. And let me also thank you for all that you've done as thank well you. in terms thank of um, serving. Thank you very and much. And so this year, you guys are honoring Downriver for Vets. Talk to me about why were they selected? We wanted to do something unique. And we discovered that uh, it was an organization called Downriver for Vets. Uh, and a young lady by the name of Ann Rodasso, uh, who has been on TV, has been interviewed by local networks. Mm -hmm. Uh, and her desire and her vision is to build tiny homes for veterans. And that, uh, that kind of struck a nerve, I think, uh, struck us as something that's very important. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to, in some way, shape, or form, uh, join forces with them uh, to support her dream. Uh, and what we really like to do is see a community being developed. Mm -hmm. A community where we have tiny homes or regular homes uh, centralized around a campus setting that, uh, that we'd have a community center uh, that would support the veterans in any possible way that they can be supported. Financial, food, uh, job, recreation. Uh, medical. Medical, yeah. And uh, there's something very similar to that right now. Uh, and it's called the Michigan Veteran Homes in Chesterfield Township. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to model it after that. Uh, and that's a, just an absolutely beautiful facility uh, that the state of Michigan uh, put together. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we're quite enamored with the way they did it. And we're one of <coughs> working with them to get more information as to how to do what they did. Right. Uh, the important element, of course, is finding property uh, to build uh, the various homes right. and or this campus setting. And mm -hmm. getting it at a reasonable cost as well, yes. right? Yeah, okay. uh, exactly. So yeah. it is an ambitious goal, but I think you guys, you know, you can pull it off, especially with some of the events that you've, um, you've held. After the, w the event in November, what, do you have anything else that's coming up? Our fundraiser. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, as, as Rob said, uh, we are self-sustaining now. Mm -hmm. uh, so to put on these events, and uh, we put on two or three events a year, uh, obviously we need money. So uh, we are having our fundraiser. Uh, there, part of this funds that are going to the dinner uh, will be utilized, but the majority of it will go to tiny homes. Our fundraiser is going to be uh, the Bolarama that we have at Collier Lanes okay. uh, in, in Oxford, Michigan, uh, probably uh, sometime in March. Okay. That'll give you enough time to recuperate after yeah. this yeah. particular event. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it is, it is a group effort. And um, 
the only reason and the only way that we could pull this off is by Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. by coming together. And it's not about ourselves. It's about the community. It's about other vets. It's about helping them. And that's why we're getting together and incorporating tiny homes and some other organizations that we could team and partner together so we could help each other out and uh, what our vision is. Okay, and yeah, tell Bob, us again where, where it's, um, it's happening. It's Lake Point Community Church. Give us the location. It's well. 1550 West Drainer Road. It's about two miles west of uh, Lapeer Road on Drainer. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a large sign on the front that says uh, Lake Point Community Church. And it'll be in our main room. Uh, we can easily hold three to 400 people there. Okay, and mm -hmm. so you're going to have the dinner and then a guest speaker? Yeah. Yes. And some music also. Music. Yeah, we're going to have some entertainment mm -hmm. uh, during the dinner hour. Okay. And also during the uh, welcome reception, we'll have entertainment as well. Wonderful. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're looking if, forward to it. If people can't attend the event right now, or even the one, that, the event that you're holding in March, the Bolarama, mm -hmm. where can they donate their time or materials or money? Thank mm -hmm. you for asking that. Absolutely. Um, you're welcome to write out a check uh, to Lake Point Community Church, and then on the memo line, please write Veterans Ministry. That'll go directly to our account. Right, and we do want to make sure that it goes to the right yes. place. Do you have anything else that you want to add? Well, we just love for everybody to uh, just think about the veterans and think about what uh, they've gone through what their families had gone through, um, not knowing if their son or daughter or mom and pop will ever come home or whatever. So it's, it's, um, it weighs heavy on a lot of people's hearts, but just continue to pray for our ministry, pray for our veterans, for pray for our country. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's extremely important. Yeah. We, uh, we're both uh, Vietnam uh, era veterans. Uh, I served in Vietnam. Uh, when we came home, we didn't have a very nice welcome home. <laughs> no. uh, and, um, and I think that uh, any and every Vietnam veteran will attest to that. So we uh, are doing something about that, uh, making veterans more aware in the community, mm -hmm. uh, doing whatever we can. Uh, they, some, of them took, uh, some of them took some pretty uh, difficult situations uh, physically as well as mentally. So <clears throat> we want to support them in, in whatever capacity we can. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, uh, for us, it's basically uh, honoring them and recognizing their service to our great nation. Yep. And, and once again, thank you for what you do. It's pretty yeah. notable that you're making an experience that wasn't as welcoming when you came back yeah. to something better for A lot of stuff Correct. going on. There was Kent State, the shooting, the four college students, mm -hmm. uh, the Kennedys, there was protests and people were burning their draft cards moving to Canada, and, but some of us said, you know, we're going to stand and fight for this country, so that's where we're at. Okay, well, we wish you guys success with this event and, yeah, and future you. fundraisers as well. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining yeah. us today. Thank you, Stacy. Well, as well. Right. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Orient Outreach. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.